Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my name is Blaine Duffy and I am here today to represent Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown is seeking settlement for the injuries sustained in an accident involving the defendant, Lucy Van Pelt. This case is about accepting responsibility. I'm not here today with Charlie to ask for anything absurd. We're just asking for a settlement on what, how he was harmed. He was injured in an accident one day where he walked up, saw Lucy Van Pelt with her younger brother and Charlie's dog playing some football. And Van Pelt started pestering him to play some football with him. And Charlie knew her tendencies and started to say, no, 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 I don't want to play, I don't want to play. And the defendant kept on saying, no, 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 I won't, I won't play trick on you anymore. I'll just hold the ball and you can actually practice this time. So my client, Charlie Brown, took a risk. And once again, he failed. He fell after the defendant pulled the ball away and he was injured. I'm sure that we've all been in a scenario where we want a second chance, maybe a third chance, maybe a fourth chance. Think about how hard it is to give those second chances. It's difficult. It's difficult to say to someone who has hurt you before, okay, I'll let you, I'll take a chance again and see if you're gonna hurt me again. Time after time, Brown has given Van Pelt these chances. And time after time, she fails to show him an acceptable friendship. He brushes it off and says, okay, maybe sometime she'll be, she'll be nice to me. But this was the straw that broke the camel's back. This day, it has to be stopped here. Because at some point, if Van Pelt just keeps hurting Brown, where is it going to end up? Brown, the injuries could get much worse. Right now, he has back injuries and he's to start seeing a psychologist because of all the mental abuse that he has gotten from Van Pelt. He doesn't want to put up a stink and he doesn't want a huge trial. He just wants this to be dealt with. He just wants it to be over. So I have two witnesses today that will be able to tell you what happened. One is the defendant's younger brother and one is Charlie Brown's dog. They will not only be able to tell you what happened on that day, but they will be able to tell you about the general trend in the relationship between the defendant and Charlie Brown. And the defendant will come up here and say, oh, but this contract that I signed, it, it means nothing, it's not notarized. But that's not, it's the principal effect. There was something that, signed, that was signed and there were witnesses to it and Van Pelt should be responsible for her actions and how she signed something and went against it. And like I said before, my client, Charlie Brown, is not here to seek millions of dollars so he can go to the Bahamas on this money that he's going to win from this case. He's seeking money to pay for his doctor's appointments. And that's what he needs. He shouldn't have to be paying for these doctor's appointments that he didn't give these injuries to himself. This is caused by someone else. It's about responsibility. So today I stand in front of you all to ask you to do the right thing. I took this case because I decided to reach out for the victim. I want to help the underdog, and I hope you all do as well. Because reaching out, just like second chances, is difficult. But I did it because this is an underdog, and I want him to see that it can end at some point. Thank you.